Israel, you need to take a look in the mirror. The oppressed have now become the oppressors. The dispossessed have now become the dispossessors. And the murdered have now become the murderers. The crimes that were done to you 80 years ago are now the very deeds you yourself do to others. You will not have peace until you return to God, until you receive the Messiah he sent to bless you and restore you. Your problem is with him, not with the world. You will never be able to live with yourselves, let alone with others, until you can live with him in peace. A stone temple in Jerusalem will never accomplish that, for the blood of bulls and goats cannot take away sin. Two thousand years ago, God provided atonement for you and for all the world. He sent his Messiah into the world, and you rejected him. Your people, your leadership, crucified him. But that was according to the plan of God, because he was the Lamb of God who will take away the sin of Israel and the world. All this is written in your prophets and in your law. You only need to open the books God has given you to see. And God is willing to receive you if you return to him in faith and trust in him rather than in your own strength. Listen to what the prophets say. Listen to your prophet Ezekiel in the English Bible, chapter 36, starting at verse 17. Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their own ways and deeds. To me their way was like the uncleanness of a woman in her customary impurity. Therefore I poured out my fury on them for the blood which they shed on the land, and for their idols which with which they defiled it. So I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed throughout the countries. I judged them according to their ways and their deeds. When they came to the nations, wherever they went, they profaned my holy name, when they said of them, These are the people of the Lord. And yet they have gone out of his land. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations wherever they went. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I do not do this for your sake, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which uh, has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I am hallowed in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations, and gather you out of all countries, and bring you into your own land. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you shall be clean. And I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from your idols. And I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. And I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you will keep my judgments and do them. Then you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. And you shall be my people and I will be your God. And I will deliver you from all your uncleanness. I will call for the grain and multiply it and bring no famine among you. And I will multiply the fruit of the trees and the increase of your fields so that you will never uh, again bear the reproach of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds which were not good. And loathe yourselves in, the, in your own sight. For your, uh, for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sake do I do this, says the Lord God. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded 
for your own ways, O house of Israel. Israel, you are full of hate, and that hate is consuming you. God has promised to bless you, to restore you, to make you again his people, to dwell in you through his spirit. These promises were brought, were purchased 2,000 years ago by your Messiah, not only for Israel, but for the entire world. Return to him, and he will return to you. Repent of your ways, and he will cleanse you. You cannot make yourself acceptable to God. He makes you acceptable to God through his Son, through his cross, the Lamb of God who died for your sins and for the sins of the entire world. Only through him can you inherit the promises in the prophets. Only through him can you receive the gift of the new covenant, the gift of a new heart, a new spirit, and the spirit of God dwelling in you. Only in Christ, in the Messiah, is that possible. Until that day, you will abide under the anger of God. Your weapons will not help you, for the prophets write, Cursed is the man who trusts in man, who makes flesh his strength. Do not trust. The American carriers will not help you. At the snap of God's fingers, they will sink to the depths of the sea. America is a broken reed, a corrupt, godless people. They are no defense against your enemies because you have made yourself the enemy of God. You will have no peace until you make peace with God. And the only way to make peace with God is to trust in his Messiah, which he sent 2,000 years ago. Turn to him, and the Messiah will come again to bless you. But without repentance, he will not come in blessing, but in judgment. <laughs>